really want to flourish as people. But in order to do so, we need to feel that we're doing what matters and we need to be in environments which are physically and psychologically safe. So far the summit's been really good, there's been some really great keynote speakers. So it would be lovely to see this conference, Safety Leaders Summit, shift us to a higher level of debate. I'm actually quite enjoying it, there's a lot of information there that's come out particularly this morning uh, in the panel discussion, which I've found to be quite interesting. It's been some very fat, really good speakers, sort of, um, especially with the new Health and Safety Act, sort of make it clearer and easier for people to understand what the implications are moving forward. We need to know what this process of risk identification, risk mitigation and risk control is. We need to know what causes accidents. It's not that people don't want to be safe, they already think they are. For genuine worker participation, the workers who are part of that participation must be trained independently of the boss. From a sponsor's perspective, the event's a perfect platform to um, really introduce the company to a wide variety of people from various levels in the industry and, and the health and safety sector. So, so it's marvellous for us and it's working really well. I've connected with a couple of um, exhibitors, so I've come to the uh, conference so far with a couple of key questions I've looked to have answered and so far just ticking them off the list as we go through. For me it's probably the premier event because um, this has the, the conference in it, so we get all the key decision makers in the industry here. Uh, you get to hear the latest news, so you know, we'll be very happy with it. There's been a lot of interested people wanting information. If I look at the list of people that are attending, and I look at my wish list for the next four to five years, I would say they're all on there. There's been a lot of people that we've met that are outside of what would not be our normal client base, which is great, which was the object of the exercise. I think that's just a valuable chance to yeah, bring everyone together and actually have some really good conversations. Everyone finds this a useful conference to understand what's happening in the health and safety sector and also interact with their colleagues and networks and so on and, and look for partnerships where they need them, look for support and I guess really if they've got a need at the moment, and there is a lot of need coming down in the health and safety sector, then, then this is the place to probably connect with someone that's going to deliver and, and, and help you through. Yeah, it's, a bit, it's just a matter of networking for us um, and just getting our name out, our brand out in front of um, you know, the key people that make a difference uh, in our industry, yeah. It's really well organised and um, well planned out and um, the way in which the delegates move through the event is, is really good. You've got a lot of guest speakers from different industries, uh, local and abroad, uh, whether it's HASNA or health and safety or health and wellbeing. I think uh, a summit like this is great. So this is our second year and uh, the reason we came back is because we find the level of people that attend is uh, just much higher than other shows and it, you get, they get plenty of time to come and chat to us. Um, we'll certainly be back next year and, um, and it's helped us connect so straight away. People are coming up and they're keen to connect and eager and, and it seems to be a good vibe and, and, and a useful, useful platform for us as a business, absolutely.